What's going on, my fellow collectors? I am back again, back again, doing a update video, guys. Today, what I like to update is, uh, I said I wanted to do a video on the uh, stop motion contest and just updating with some changes that's going to be made on that. Uh, I know you guys are like, what the hell is the hold up? <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you what the hold up is. Uh, work is one I'm definitely constantly doing my job, you know, trying to keep the collecting going on and just everyday living. So um, work is one of the hold ups. Uh, two, technology. Uh, I'm not really computer suave, uh, so I got to figure out how to work these programs so I can pull you guys' videos off of YouTube and then be able to, uh, you know, uh, put it all together in one big video. So um, I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Got a little help from some friends. So, you know, as far as in how to do the program and everything, now I just have to sit down and take the time and figure it out and do it. So it is still going to be a contest, guys. Just bear with me. I know you guys are anxious to find out who the winner is of the contest and everything and just to see it all together, put in uh, play. So, But I am working on it and we should have a video soon. Very soon, guys. Very, very soon. As far as in other changes that, well, changes that's going to be made is um, there's not going to be judges. I don't want the judges to be feeling in a certain type of spot where, you know, they got to pick, pick a favorite or whatever or just trying to judge something on they really don't know nothing about, like me, myself. I don't really know too much about, well, I know a little bit about stop motion as far as, you know, you need pictures and you know, you collide them pictures together. But as far as in like the really details of it all, I'm not really too sure about it. You know, and I would like to get into it, but that's just another hobby area to jump on to. And, you know, it's already enough hobbies going on in my life. So, but I will eventually one day, I want to do something in stop motion, just don't know when. So that's in the future. So uh, no judges right now for this type thing. Uh, I just would like you guys, the viewers, to... Uh, just leave a comment on who you like, and I'll just read the comments and tally them all up and see who like who the most in the contest, and, you know, we'll take it from there. So, uh, bear with me, please. Uh, as far as in right now, I don't want people to just be subscribing and doing, you know, that for... You know, just to be able to vote for a particular friend, you know, you never know. You might have somebody that want to subscribe uh, 20 times or something. <laughs> I doubt it. I don't think nobody's going to go that far. I mean, I don't even know if, any, if it's going to be that many viewers on this thing. But I definitely need you guys, the viewers, whoever view my videos, please leave a comment for this one particular video when it does get posted up. You know, and just tell who you like. And we're still going to do a first, second, and third prize far as in which DX that'll be, I don't know yet. But I do have uh, the Toy Federation, my boy Ryan. He's an awesome seller. Check him out on the web. Type in Toy Federation. You know, his prices may seem a little up there, but if you're going to be a frequent buyer, he'll definitely give you that 10% that you can get from Corner Store Comics and so on. But uh, Ryan is going to back the prize. He's going to back the prize. I said this before. He's going to back the grand prize, which would be a DX either a Batman or a Joker. Well, it's going to be Jack Sparrow, but I think, you know, they're just sold out now. And, um, you know, we have to go whatever DX is going to be around at the time. So it will be a DX, guys. Um, second prize would be another figure. It was going to be a Bruce Lee, but I'm not sure which figure it would be. It would be a 1-6 figure, and the same with a 1-6 uh, true type or a 1-6 body for the uh, third prize. So uh, prizes are still jumping off. Uh, like I said, uh, just trying to collaborate it all together. And I really was giving you guys the extended time because I know stop motion could take a long time to do. So I wanted you guys to try to do your best work and, you know, give you all the time that you needed. Plus a few collectors, well, stop motion artists in the beginning was like, you know, can I have a nice amount of time? So I was like, to be fair, let's give it like three or four months, four months or whatever. So, but that time is gone like that. 
<laughs> and now it's like, all right, what's up with the video? So I'm working on it very, very soon. As soon as I can get more free time for us and to sit down with the computer and figure out how the programming works and putting everything together. Because I used to edit, with, I'm usually editing with my iPhone, but uh, like I said earlier, I'm not doing it with that. So, um, The Avengers, oh my gosh, I finally seen the Avengers movies, guys. That shit was the bomb! Yo! <laughs> I'll be honest with you guys, I shed a tear at the end of the movie. I shed a tear, guys. Um, a couple tears. You know, it wasn't that it was sad or, you know, it just, there were tears of joy. So, I'm going to get into that in a second. This is let me make sure I touched on everything about the stop motion contest. Alright, so far as in, after this video is getting posted, um, you know, when I do put the video out there, guys, definitely take a look. And, uh, I think, uh, that's pretty much it, guys. That, that's pretty much it for now with the stop motion contest that I can think of. Um... Yeah, so the Avengers, them guys did a hell of a job putting that movie together at Marvel Studios. I was blown away with how they was able to mix all the different types of characters from, you know, different parts of the Marvel Universe and come to make the Avengers in and, and a real life action movie, you know. Oops, ooh, almost slipped. <laughs> real life action movie so uh, you know it, the Hulk blew my mind I mean he blew my mind as far as in with you know the CGI and the the life that they gave to the CGI you know I thought it was going to be kind of cheesy but the last Hulk movie surprised me too so I, I don't know why I was kind of scared thinking that this Hulk wouldn't but uh, you know it, it, they did good I can't wait to see what Hot Toys is going to do with that figure Definitely can't wait to see what Hot Toys is going to do with the Hulk because uh, I think they're going to blow our minds with it. And I hope they use a rubber body because who knows if it's going to deteriorate with time. I don't even care right now. <laughs> I mean, because I can't really see no other type of uh, way, you know. As far as in with joints, I mean, that might be good. But uh, I would go with the rubber body. I would definitely go with the rubber body. I mean, at the end of the day, just take a look at people Rocky figures and stuff like that and the King Leonidas and see how they're doing. And if, you know, they're holding up with time, then I think these, uh, the Hulk will too. But uh, psh, Iron Man, I'm getting that figure because uh, he, I think he was my best character in the movie. Uh, well, I don't know, Captain America played that role too. I was actually talking to a friend of mine and he was like, he didn't care for the Avengers. And I'm like, you didn't care for the Avengers? Like, what's wrong with you? You know, he was like, too much action. Too much action and, you know, and not, not enough story involved. And I'm like, story? Like, you, it was kind of to the point, you know, and I was telling him, like, most hero-type movies is kind of to the point. You know what it's about. The hero even... You know, he, he avenging someone, saves the girl, and saves the world. Like, I mean, you know, that's pretty much what the Avengers was about. And that's pretty much what Batman was about. That's pretty much what, you know, Superman was about back in the day. Like, I mean, you know, it's how they do it. And I think Marvel Studios did the Avengers with so much taste where, you know, I was just impressed. I was very much impressed. I... I was blown away. Character design, uh, you know, costume was just amazing. Iron Man, like the the Mark Seven, <laughs> that scene towards the end. Oh my gosh! Like I, just, it just was a smile on my face. I was like, wow! Like you know, the, the Halo carrier, like when they were on that, the action and you know the fight scenes was just phenomenal, you know, and he said it was too much action. I'm like, what? And I'm like, it's too much action, I can understand, but when it's too much action and it's done well, like, I'm not complaining. I, that's what I want to see. If you want to have me on a roller coaster ride for the whole duration of a movie, then I, I can, I can, 
that that's an experience. That's an experience that I'll cherish and I'll take with for the rest of my life. You know what I mean? Like you know, like the other movies, like Dark Knight. You know, with uh, the Heath Ledger being the Joker. Like that was a phenomenal movie too. He said, but. You know, he was just like, nah, well, you know, when you got a movie like Avengers, too much acting, that was just drowned out. And then he started comparing other movies, and I'm like, you know what, I'm not having this discussion anymore. I mean, you have your favorites, and I have my favorites, and in my eyes, that was a phenomenal movie. I can't see how anybody who don't like that movie, you know, so. But uh, at the end, I just shed some tears because I think they were just tears of joy, finally. You know, it, it being pulled off a, a real life action hero movie with that many characters from all different parts of the universe, it, it, it just was it was phenomenal. And and when Tony Stark had to save the world at the end, and the Hulk caught him, which you seen in the previews, you know, it, you know, it was just like a smile on the face because you know the Hulk was just you know saving one of his homies, part of his squad. Like you know, it was like a. It was amazing. It was amazing. It was an amazing movie. And even up to the last parts of the, you know, the uh, end that you had to stick around after the credits, they were kind of hilarious. So definitely check that movie out if you can, guys. Um, you will love it. Go see it in the movies. I actually seen a bootleg copy. I'm like, I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to wait to go to the movies and I'm going to go check it out then. So, and I did and I, I, I'm, I'm glad I did it that way. I might even go see it again in the movie. That it's one of them type movies where you can definitely get two watches or maybe even three and not even care, you know. So, with that being said, wanted to touch on the Avengers stop motion contest. Got more videos coming soon, guys. So stay tuned for that. I'm about to flood y'all asses with videos. Alrighty, uh, good looking out to Goldie Riz. Gave a brother a shout out in the video, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching my videos as I watch yours, man. You're a hilarious brother. Thanks for sharing, bro. And I'll continue sharing. And actually, this is uh, one of the reasons why I, you know, got out the oomph to make a video today because that video cracked me up. And it ain't nothing like seeing another collector just, you know, sharing his passion with us and talking about, you know, what's going on, whatever the case, whether it's day to day life or, you know, or just collecting or whatever. So, you know, you know, I appreciate that in the community. So, give a shout out to that guy. I also, give a shout out to uh, my boy. He gave me a shout out in his video recently. I'm just going off of the dome. Uh, uh, Masterpiece Replicas guy. What's up, Alan? Thanks for the shout out, bro, man. You are an awesome collector yourself. And I am very pleased to, to know you in the community and chatting with you on Skype, man. We be getting our rap on. So, what's up, Alan? Uh, my other boy gave me a shout-out recently, uh, Yvonne Zad. What's up, my brother? Sebastian over there in France. Yo, you and Eric, man. What's up, Eric? <laughs> Eric is hilarious. What's up? Oh, shit! <laughs> Eric, you funny as shit. You two together, guys, are amazing. Keep them unboxing videos and reviews coming, man. Love what you do, bro. Um... Also, uh, Odell, Mr. Look You Down, gave me a shout out in this video. Thanks for the shout out, Odell, man. You know, I don't care what they say about you, bro. You cracked me up too, man. <laughs> He's a funny guy. Um, so ch check them guys out. Uh, and plus, Clipper King gave me a shout out recently, offered his prize for the Darth Grayskull contest. And shout out to Darth Grayskull. Magnus, Mike, what's up, man? Um, Trying to win that prize and Clipper said, pass it on, bro. So pass it on because, uh, like I said, PlayStation 3 definitely coming this summer. So uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Mookie215 is on and out. Peace.